Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some A-level further maths topics and today we are talking about the parabola. Uh, in the last lesson we did some summation results and uh, that was just a bit of a concluding part to our little bit on induction. And that is perhaps the hardest bit uh, sort of section in FP1 or old to old money FP1 and uh, that'll be going out of date soon but it's all good maths anyway and it'll probably stay on the spec so uh, yeah today I think we're moving into the sort of second hardest sector of further pure uh, the first part anyway and today we're going to be talking about the parabola so the learning objective is to understand what is meant by parabola and know about the focus and directrix of a parabola so let's get into things we have all met that should say not all me it's not all about me on this channel you know we have all met the parabola before uh, it's simply a quadratic curve uh, but at A level we take this a little bit further and understand why it behaves the way it does and we also work with the y squared instead of the x so it's actually on its side it's like a x squared graph's fallen over because it was drunk or something so a y squared graph looks a little bit like this so there you go uh, it looks like a, a c rather than a u or an n and it can also go the other way if it's negative and this line on the on the left here I don't know if you can see my sort of little red mark um, but this line on the left is called the directrix so that particular graph is called y squared equals 4x and that line there is x equals minus 1 and there's a link between those uh, that point there is 0 uh, well 1 0 and we'll talk about that in a second so that point there is just a generic point on the parabola and the distance from the little point 1 0 to that point is actually the same distance to the line x equals minus 1 and that is true for anywhere on this graph those two little dashed lines will be equal and that is what defines a parabola if the distance from uh, a certain point which we call the focus and the distance to the directrix is the same at any given point on the curve then it is a parabola so there we go the definition of a parabola the parabola is the locus of points which are equidistant from a focus a0 and a line called the directrix x equals minus a so as you can see this fits the rule because that is 1 and that is minus 1 so our a here is 1 so there you go there's your uh, generic parabola and we're just going to call it x equals minus a and a and we're just going to call that point xy so if xy is on the parabola then xy must obey the rule the distance of xy to a0 is the same as the distance xy to the line x equals minus a and we're going to use a bit of line theory here that you'll have learnt in FSMQ or core 1 um, it's, it's pretty simple maths considering what we're doing uh, so the distance of xy to a0 is the square root of x minus a squared add y minus 0 squared which is that and the distance of xy to the line x equals minus a is the root of x minus minus a squared uh, and that's all to do with uh, the points so that means that the root of x plus a squared that's just because that is a double negative is equal to the root of x minus a squared plus y squared getting rid of the square roots you get rid of uh, well by just squaring you get that then you want to expand and just be very careful uh, square the first square the second twice the inner product that's how you square a bracket and y squared just stays y squared and tidy up so uh, the x squareds will cancel because we see one x squared on both sides a squared will cancel because we see an a squared on both side, sides and we take the 2ax over the other side and it becomes 4ax so that means our generic parabola is called y squared equals 4ax so it, it all depends on what your a is 
uh, and that'll generate our function. So the key part are, well, of parabolas is the A. If we change that, um, then we, we change the equation and, and also the focus in the directrix because remember they play off A as well. So if my A is a 5, it'll become Y equals 20X, uh, well Y squared equals 20X and the focus will be uh, 5, 0 and the directrix will be the line X equals minus 5. So in our first example, y squared equaled 4x, so a equals 1. And remember, I did talk about that because uh, we had the directrix x equals minus 1 and the focus of 1, 0. Oh, I haven't animated this. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That's why you should check your PowerPoints before you record them. And uh, let's get into the next part. So uh, these are... Uh, well that's just a generic statement so the generic parabola is given by y squared equals 4ax we're just talking about that and now we're going to look at a couple of examples um, to test your parabola theory um, that you might get in an exam so remember our focus a0 and our directrix x equals minus a are dictated by the a value so an example then, find the equation of the parabola with a focus of 7, 0 and a directrix x plus 7 equals 0. Don't be confused by that because you can just take that over the other side and it'll be x equals minus 7, of course. So our a must be a 7 and 4 times 7 is 28. So the equation is simply y squared equals 28x. Because remember the generic parabola equation is 4ax. So it's just 4 lots of our a, which is 7. Uh, given that y squared equals 24x, write down the focus and directrix of the curve. So 24 must equal 4a, so therefore a is a 6. Focus is 6, 0, directrix x equals minus 6. It is as easy as that. Given that y squared equals root 32x, write down the focus and directrix of the curve. 4a equals root 32 root 32 is for root 2 if you break it down because you've got root 16 root 2 root 16 is obviously 4 so it's for root 2 and a is therefore root 2 so the focus is root 2 comma 0 and our directrix is x equals minus root 2 and that is it for this first part of parabolas um, there's not much to it once you you know the the proof and everything that's why I've showed it um, so you can see uh, y squared equals 4ax and how the a dictates how what the focus is and what the directrix is in the next lesson though we'll be talking about tangents to parabolas and that's a little bit more intense but uh, once you've done one of those you'll never go wrong again hopefully so hopefully you found it helpful make sure you leave a like down below if you did because it tells me that these lessons are of a decent quality and that they're helping you guys out. Any questions you've got, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days for Tangents to Parabolas.